If I want to summarize it, I would say the rich got richer. Um, you know, like what I'm seeing is that existing customers on the TradeShift platform actually increased the pace of their digital transformation. And they did further rollout in their supply chain, added additional processes, um, increased it to other business units if they hadn't done so and if they hadn't do that. But, um, you know, also the increase in demand um, could not be met by the increase in supply. So there has been a lot of replanning and a lot of expediting and a lot of back order activities, as well as transportation problems actually in the supply chain. And I think what we're seeing right now is that partially, you know, like the lower demand that we're seeing is not only because there's lower demand for the end products in the market, but people are also starting to relax some of those, I would say higher inventories um, that they start try to build up, let's say after the COVID crisis. So it, it looks like the numbers are going down very sharply, while actually in reality, it's more actually, let's say, really related, partially related to flattening the inventories again. What we do see is actually, let's say, sophistic, more sophistication um, um, in customers and how they are using the platform, notably for forecasting, uh, notably also for collaborating with their supply chain partners on inventory and not just on orders. Um, and looking more towards like key performance indicators that measure stability instead of just focusing on prices, basically, let's say, of the goods, actually, let's say, that, that, that they are getting. So what I would advise customers to do is to just increase the clock speed of their supply chain, you know, because if they increase the stock speed of their supply chain, they can actually, let's say, deal with that trend like fallout of demand, actually, let's say, in the market. Uh, and then they can actually, let's say, adjust their policies, let's say, to that. And the only way to do that is by becoming more digital. That's the only way that you can actually, let's say, increase, let's say, that, uh, that, 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 that clock speed of your supply chain. Like increasing that clock speed and increasing the level of digital that is the same way um, that, that that's still actually you'll say helping you to improve the resilience also in the face of like a recession or weakening demand.